Welcome to Jackets TV presented by Ohio Health. I'm Bob McElligot and I'm joined by Blue Jackets defenseman John Moore. John, uh, the season coming to an end. I know yours didn't end the way that you wanted it to. Uh, you got an injury there uh, with a couple of games remaining, weren't able to play. Was that frustrating for you because you had such a great rookie campaign? Yeah, it was really frustrating. Uh, I know as a competitor and as, as a hockey player, the worst thing is sitting out watching your teammates play and um, it just kind of eats at you. But I guess uh, taking a positive out of it, it's, it's a good time to come down with the injury in terms of uh, resting now and getting it healed and uh, making sure it's 100% for uh, summer training. So uh, I'm excited for it to get healthy again and, and get going. I know that Todd Richards had said in the last uh, couple of weeks when he got asked about uh, guys that had performed maybe better than he thought they would or guys that uh, really stepped up and grabbed the bull by the horns, your name would come up a lot, uh, your improvement on the blue line. As it was going throughout the season, did you feel that you were getting better? Did you feel that you were getting more comfortable? Yeah, I, I would say the comfort level would be the biggest thing. You, um, the game starts to slow down. The more, the more games you're up here and you get more confidence. And I think as the year went on, uh, that rang true for me. And it was, um, I had a great opportunity. And, and to look from where I started to where I ended the year in terms of my development, it's exciting. But as I said earlier, uh, next year you got to raise the bar even higher. So I'm excited for that challenge. When you talk about raising the bar, what more can people expect to see out of your game? When you get to the level that you want to be, what are we going to be able to see from you? Well, uh, I think for a young guy, any young guy at any position, you need to uh, make sure you're taking care of your defensive side of the game. And through that, you're going to get trust from your coach and you're going to get put out in more situations. So I think uh, you really start in your own end. And then as you develop and get more comfortable, that offense is going to come. And, and that's really, for me, that's what I want to want to bring to the table next year is, is more of a two-way game, be more of a two-way defenseman. And even this year, when you talk about that aspect of the game, you had guys that you can look at. Jack Johnson uh, jumps out number one there. Uh, James Wisniewski obviously has that offensive upside. Even Brent Lebda, the way that he read plays, decided when to jump and didn't uh, jump at other times. How much did you learn from watching those guys? Yeah, you learn a lot. It's... Uh from the minor nuances to uh, even off the ice, uh, what they do. And, and as you stated, just watching them every day in, in games and how they play certain situations, it's, uh, it, was a, it was a learning experience for me. And to see uh, those guys, especially Jack and Wiz and, and guys like that, it was, uh, it was really special and, and it was really beneficial for me to sit there and watch them. The other thing you experienced here this year that you'll probably learn a lot from is it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. Uh, the worst of times was earlier in the season. The best of times turned out to be in the last month of the season when you guys were playing really well. Uh, when you evaluate from that standpoint, just what the atmosphere was like when things were not going well and how much fun it was in the last four weeks, how much uh, do you draw from that experience? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's simple, but when you win, you have fun. And it's, uh, I know at the beginning of the year, it was, uh, you have to like consciously tell yourself to smile and, and enjoy it. But um, when you're winning, it's fun. I know the fans enjoy it, but um, you can't say enough about the fans. I mean, even through those tough stretches, we were having some pretty good crowds and they were always behind us. So um, yeah, as you stated, it's good to end the season on a high note. Hopefully we can uh, keep building on that momentum and bring it into next year. Do you have any uh, uh, summertime hobbies, things that you'll get involved in? Uh, I'm going to try and golf. I, have, I always say that, but uh, I usually lose interest after three or four holes. And uh, other than that, I'm a big baseball fan. I like the Chicago Cubs, and I follow them pretty closely. And uh, just, I guess, enjoy my family and being home and spending time with them. How often do you get to Wrigley? Uh, two, three times a summer. It's, uh, the, I mean, the day games, it's pretty easy to come by tickets, and especially where they're at in the standings the last couple of years. Uh, they're not exactly the hottest ticket in town, but it's, uh, I, I love them. I've always been a fan. It may not be the hottest ticket in town, but it is kind of like a, a cult following there. Um, if you're going to go to a ball game, to a Cubs game especially, does that turn into almost an all-day affair? <laughs> yeah, I guess if you're over 21, it'll turn into an all-day affair. I know, um, I know, like my older sisters, they uh, they love it down there, and they they've had some fun. And uh, I was actually talking to our trainer, Chris Strickland, who uh, worked with the Colorado Rockies, about what he thought about Wrigley, and he was saying just. Uh, and, and this kind of hurt me a little as a Cubs fan. He was like, oh, it's a dump. Like, worst stadium in the league. And 
So that stung a little bit, but it's uh, it's an affair. It's uh, it's a really cool place. Well, you know, it's those buildings that uh, in any sport, it seems mm -hmm. like the buildings that are historic. Uh, I'm sure Fenway Park is not a, a a great place, but it's an iconic place. Exactly. You know, and there are places, obviously, in the National Hockey League that are the same. Um, of course, some new buildings are popping up, but mm -hmm. uh, you got to appreciate those places. Once yeah, in a while. it's cool. It's, uh, I mean, the ivy and everything and the nostalgia behind the various places, it's cool. Well, John, thank you very much for taking a couple of minutes before you head home. Appreciate it. Hope you're feeling better soon with the injury, and uh, it was great watching you this year and oh. look forward to training camp. Thank you very much. That's John Moore, Blue Jackets defenseman. I'm Bob McElligot, and you're watching Jackets TV, presented by Ohio Health.